want it back to back. Carb day here in Indianapolis. It has been a crazy couple weeks. Uh, we're finally building to race day. Super excited to be here with everybody. Our car has been fantastic. All three cars have been amazing. Here's the reigning Indy 500 champ, Joseph Newgarden. Three down, three to go, and the final three are all Team Penske Chevys. Bring in one final practice today. Try to get the car just dialed for the race, get our procedures correct, and then build to the big moment. So, it's gonna be fun, I'm glad you're here. I'm enjoying. We're about to start this parade. Always a great time. This is one of the largest parades in the United States. It's also one of the oldest parades. So, the Indy 500 is all about traditions. And this is one of the coolest things we do before the big show tomorrow. It was a weird year. By the time the storm hit, it was pretty much lunchtime. My son, my wife, my family was at the track and it was time for my son to have a nap. And, and I just took a nap with him. And when I woke up, the storms had passed and we were gonna go, we were gonna go racing. You look cool? Yeah, I, I look cool. cool. That is a cool guy. Here, put him on, let me see. <laughs> so let's go racing. spectacle in racing. This is the Indianapolis 500. Scott McLaughlin in the yellow submarine leads the field of green. There's moves happening, there's passes being made. His teammate Kyle Woodward going big down low. It's over for Verizon Chevy. On the outside, he rounds up Will Power in that Verizon Chevy. Joseph Newgarden back at the front. The Shell Chevy slides up the inside of Scott McLaughlin. The final sequence um, was very intense. I, I would say the last 50 laps. And at first I thought it was going to be me and Dixon. I thought we were the two that were going to fight together. Both of these men are Indianapolis 500 winners, but here comes Newgarden! Blasting up the inside of Dixon. And after Dixon, I thought it was going to be Rossi and me. Rossi gets ahead of you guys. And these two cars will blend with those that just hit it. This is the battle for the win of the Indy 500. Uh, and then quickly, Pato emerged. And for those last five laps, it was me and Pato. There has never been a Mexican driver win the Indianapolis 500. Maybe that time is now. With one more lap to go, Pato clear. goes to the lead. All clear.
so proud for everybody for Team Penske, you know? That's the way I wanted to win the thing right there. All right, so let me explain this. You win the biggest race in the world, and it doesn't stop there. Okay, it's the next day, the next morning, all the photo shoots with every single person. Then you gotta go to the banquet. Then you gotta take a jet to New York. Then you gotta get up at 7 a.m. and talk to every reporter that you can get on the phone. You go to the New York Stock Exchange, you open the bell, and then you're going back and you're talking to more reporters. Then maybe you'll go to a, a Mets game and you'll throw out the first pitch and then they'll hit you with a bunch of other stuff before you get to go to Detroit and finally go race again. So I've been running the Indianapolis 500 for 13 years to win it back to back. It's way out of my wildest dreams. You know, I, I like bringing everybody in on these videos to see a little bit inside our world. It's tough for me to do. So to share just a little bit of it means a lot. And I believe that we can win this race again. You know, we're more motivated than ever to come back in 2025. I think we can win it three times in a row. We're ready. We are 100% ready. I believe in my team. Let's see what happens.